In this onshot.net screencast, we're going to have a look at how 2D shapes can be used to help um, to help children learn um, about um, 2D shapes generally. And uh, we're going to look at uh, three different things. Uh, first of all, we're going to look at creating shape robots. Then we're going to look at creating our own 2D shapes. And then we're finally going to see uh, about tessellations, which would be something that they do maybe uh, more um, in, in later years in the uh, third class curriculum and beyond. So we'll have a look uh, down here at a blank screen and we're going to make our own shape robot. Now you can use any uh, interactive whiteboard software you like. Uh, all of them come with shapes. You could even use paint as well if you want. I'm just going to create a very simple very very simple shape robot. Circle head a red rectangle body and uh, I'm going to have some little sticks for arms and some sticks for legs. Now obviously a child will be a lot more creative than me uh, and we want to add extra shapes to create eyes, lips, noses, hair, all that kind of stuff. And the idea is that whenever children create their own things, they might be able to bring them up to the interactive board and talk about those uh, shapes that they've used and get children to talk about the shapes and use it as a discussion as, uh, there. So that's just creating shape robots. The second thing is about inventing our own shapes. Now this actually can take a little bit of time um, using an interactive whiteboard where you initially are going to create it might be a good idea to have a grid to help you, particularly if you're going to be tessellating later on. So I'm just going to go to the resource library. Now again, many of many of the uh, interactive whiteboard softwares will have grids. If not, there's plenty to work on. And what we'll do is we'll look. I'm going to go with dotted paper. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there's our dotted paper, and that might help me when I'm creating my uh, shapes. So we'll go back to our shapes and we'll draw some lines. Okay, I'm going to draw some down here because I'm going to make a try and make an interesting shape. And we'll try another one here. The shape here. Now. What we need to do, obviously, is make it a little bit more. Uh, need to make it exactly perfect to be a, a, a good 2D shape, and we can do that simply by selecting the shape and moving it to exactly where we want it. Okay, we're just finally going to make this one a little bit smaller. Right. Now we have our shape and it might be a nice idea to give it a little colour. So we'll do that. We'll go with a nice red colour there and that should do it. Now if I were to move this shape, it would just move the inter interior. So I do want to move the whole thing uh, in one go. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the whole shape and group it. And that way, if I do move the interior, the whole thing moves. Now, we move on to tessellations. We're going to see if this shape tessellates. Does, uh, does it all fit together in a, in a, in a, in a um, fit together in a neat way? So I'll let you be the judge of it. I'm going to place my first shape here. And how does it tessellate? And we'll duplicate. We can duplicate by right-clicking on the menu. Or we can just click the duplicate button. And we'll start fitting things in to place. And so on and so forth. So a good way of tiling and a lot easier, uh, a lot more personalised for the child who creates their own shape to check if it tessellates or not. Um, again, the Promethean software is used in this case, Promethean Active Inspire. However, most other um, interactive whiteboard software has this functionality so you're free to use that as well. I hope this uh, short presentation helps you on your way to creating 
uh, some interesting flip charts with uh, 2D shapes. And if you do happen to upload any of them, maybe you could share them in the comments after the article. Thanks very much.